<coughs> this is Rebranding Cannabis. I'm your host, Jared Mursky, and you're listening to the show that helps the industry grow. Hear from industry titans, thought leaders, and the up and coming founders of this multi billion dollar industry. <laughs> Presented by Wick and Mortar. In the next couple of years, I think it'll be a strong push to the NBA to bring the Sonics back. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I just want McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> It's a purely spiritual lesson that you are not the body, you are not the mind, you're not the emotions, right? You are consciousness. It's our futures that's on the line here. And so it's our voices that are going to demand uh, the changes that need to happen. The only thing I ask for my kids really personally is to do something that their dad didn't do. So that means you got to graduate college. I've did pretty much everything else. I'm all for a capitalist environment, but for you to take half of my business for no reason, that's, you know, that's un-American as far as I'm concerned. 12 years ago, if anyone had said to me that I would be an advocate, I would have said, oh, you've been smoking too much, baby. Oh, we're, we're smoking every day, man. All day, every day? We live in all day, every day. We're smoking all day, That's every day. That's true. Living the high life. Yeah. Well, first time I smoked, I was, I think I was a junior in high school. Let's have a little quick sesh. Man, this has been a great conversation so far. Probably one of our best. I'm gonna rip the spider. All of the prominent figures in this business were criminals. You know, I have only been in trouble once or twice in my life. Both came from marijuana convictions. I would hit it just to be cool, but I, you know, I wasn't really into it. Who can eat one potato chip? <laughs> uh, yeah, man, there was sometimes before the games we smoke. See, that's why I know this journey for all of us is divinely inspired. We can barely stay home to save our own lives. You don't prepare for it because you don't know that a pandemic's gonna happen. You know, this pandemic got everybody reflecting on their life. I'm doing what they call a staycation. That's not a bad thing if you're if you're here to experience things. You need that function so that you get your ass off the couch and go experience. If the purpose of life is to have fun and you're having fun, then you should be fulfilled. Forever. Hurry up, Benny. My clothes are going out of style. Back in the Midwest, it was always dirt. You know, I'm a gangster rap baby, so. 